not ask me to spell that. I have no clue. That was a regular weeknight dinner at our family. It's super simple, super easy. Two pots and you're good to go. You have egg noodles, which I already pre-cooked so it was ready to go for the show. But again, salt the water, make sure that you cook them to the package directions. You have chicken ch cut into bite-sized chunks. You have sausage also cut into bite-sized chunks. Pepperoncini peppers cut into bite-sized chunks. Olive oil and our chicken broth. Now, I chose to do this meal tonight because we did the other day, just did something with chicken broth and I don't want this to go to waste. So, I decided to do a deal, um, a dish that would incorporate that. So, medium high pan, oil in the pan, you're gonna start first with sausage. That takes longer to cook. I've tried it before without having, actually having to like watch my mother cook it. Um, and did the chicken first. The last thing anybody needs in their life is overcooked chicken, that's for sure. So, cook the sausage first, and you want to make sure that that's nice and brown. in the pan because that's what's going to um, be the fat that we're going to use to cook the chicken in. So no extra butter <laughs> in this dish. And see all those brown bits in there? That is like the yum of the entire dish that we're going to deglaze. Now for my chicken, again I cut it into bite-sized chunks. I've salted it, I've peppered it, and I've dredged it in flour because that's gonna give the sauce a nice thickness. Again, if you wanna do a gluten-free option, you can do corn starch. <music> Camera crew is just Mark. He's doing a great job. <laughs> Food Network, look out. All right, and so you've got all these great little bits at the bottom of the pan. We're going to deglaze the pan with just chicken broth. Now, you probably could use wet wine, but I don't have any because I drink it all. <laughs> Sorry about that. And you're just going to put a little of the chicken broth in the pan and let that kind of like scrape up all those yummy bits from the sausage and the chicken. Um, and that, and also the flour that was on the chicken is going to help thicken the sauce just a little bit. It's not an Alfredo. It's not like doing a roux, like a cream sauce or a bechamel. It's just it's going to give it a little bit of a silkiness um, so that it will kind of coat over the noodles. And yes, they're egg noodles. I can call egg noodles egg noodles. Pasta is pasta. Although we never called pasta pasta in our family. Macaroni was macaroni. It's more than elbows. Anyway, there's definitely certain like pasta cuts for certain dishes. There's definitely certain pasta cuts for um, days of the week. Um, we never eat spaghetti on a Sunday. That's for sure. So <laughs> this is definitely... Um, all right. There's just weird rules, okay? We just have weird rules in our family. So, now that we have this sauce and the, we've scraped the bottom of the pan, we've got all that flavor, like, to, that's all flavor. Like, it's it's so yummy. That's gonna just add right, up, like, it's just an intensity to how we're gonna put it over our starch, which is the egg noodles. So you have your sauce simmering. You're gonna add the chicken back into the dish or to the pan, you're gonna add your sausage back into the pan. And then the final, oh, make sure you get all that yumminess. It has to be in there. And then the last touch of the pepperoncini mush, uh, peppers. They're a little bit spicy, okay? Um, and the most annoying thing about this dish is that if you put the whole pepper in, when you eat it, you don't eat the stem and you're gonna have little pieces of stem. I've tried to cut them off, but then it overpowers the dish, so it's better to leave them whole. 
Okay, so you, and I left a little bit of the liquid when I drained it from the jar. So all that's gonna go in there. And you just kind of let that get happy together. It doesn't have to cook long. The meat is cooked, the sauce is simmering. It's not a thick sauce, it's just getting really happy in there. And we're gonna let the peppers and the liquid from the peppers flavor that sauce that's going to go on top of our noodles. Okay, so the sauce has been simmering, everything's together, it's all happy, and the flavor from the peppers has infused into the sauce. All you do is pour it over your egg noodles. And I don't know, this is a weeknight meal, so there's really no garnish. The peppers, the chicken, the sausage, it's just like a hearty, but sort of light, delicious meal for a weeknight.